Hello and welcome to the scripting tutorial in Andy. In this tutorial we'll take a look at how we can catch messages received by our NIC using callback functions and events. Let's see how it works. So let's start to uh, build this short script and see how it works. So the first thing that we want to do is to uh, start or open a project that we can use. In my case I have already created a project so we will just open that one. And I named it catching traffic. So this is just an empty project file and uh, I configured the adapters for one of my NICs. This is, will be the one that I will be listening on in this example. So first thing is that we'll go to scripts and add a script. You can open that one. You can remove the template file or the default code and we can start. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a message template for our Ethernet message. So we make a variable and name it something. Um, can make it, uh, for example, template underscore msg. And now we use the message builder to create a Ethernet message. So we write here and use the autocomplete. And then we can have all the message create message functions here. And uh, we want to draw Ethernet, so we will use this one. We can just close it, and then we're done. So next thing we want to do is we want to create a callback function, which will be called every time we have an event. In this case, the event will be that we receive a message. And this callback function can be can do anything. For example, it can print something about the message, uh, you can do something with the message, it's up to the use case. But in this case, we can just write define here, def, and then we can name it something. So in this case, it will be when a message is received. So for example, we can name it on underscore msg received. And this will have a object message object as an input. And what and what do we want this to do? We can just print something here. So we can just print a message, and for example, uh, capture underscore info. So we will capture all the we will print all the information about this message object. So next step is to actually uh, create the event. Uh, so now we will use our message template that we created before. Uh, in this case, it was called uh, template underscore m message msg, and then we can have see if it works. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we can have the, the there is an event called on underscore message underscore received and this one so we will subscribe to on underscore message underscore received so now every time we re every time we receive a message we'll, we will uh, trigger this function so now we have the event which will trigger every time we catch a message and we also have the callback function that will do something every time we receive this message. So now we actually want to start the capture uh, and then we have uh, to do that we have the start capture function. So we will take our, we can just copy this, this is our template message and if we paste it we can see all the information. Here you also see the capture info uh, that we used up here for this message. But now we want to have start capture. So we can write S and we see all the uh, functions on S. So here we have start capture function. So we can double click or enter. So now we start the function or start the capture rather. So now we want to uh, delay or sleep. So we, just, so we don't just start and then stop instantly. So for, to do that, we use the sleep function. And in this case, let's sleep for 10 seconds. And we also need to import uh, the sleep function or methods. So in this case, we 
from time we import sleep sleep function so now this is valid and we can use it so now of the 10 seconds what we want to do yeah we want to stop the capture again so same principle we use this and now we press s again and then we can see the stop capture here and we can close it and actually we can unsubscribe to our event first so we can write template dot on message uh, received and then you write minus equal and then we have the on message receive function actually this one was wrong so we will take that one instead yeah so now we can see what happens so we run it there are something wrong uh, okay here is i think default we'll try again yeah so now it works so now we can see that we start the script here and we get all the capture uh, information about all the messages but we can uh, try something else we can for example try to print the uh, this is an ethernet message we can try to um, print the mac address for example so the destination mac address we do the same thing we can now see the message or the MAC address uh, for the destination here instead. So now let's take a look at another example. I have imported, uh, we can see here, I have imported a script which creates a CAN frame that is being sent over Ethernet for the broader reach spy. So we can see what happens when I run this while this script is running. So I also changed here for the message for capture information. And this capture information prints the information about the capture. So in this case, we will see um, the ether type, uh, MAC address, CAN ID, port number, and etc. All of this information we can see in the capture. So let's start this again. We can change it to only five seconds. And we start it, and then we go to the other script, and we can run this a couple of times. Oh, it stopped before, so we can go back here. So now we can actually see that we get different information. So this capture information is for a normal Ethernet frame. And this is the capture information on an Ethernet frame, which contains a CAN frame. Uh, so you can see here, for example, the gateway type is a broader reach uh, spy CAN. Uh, and the timestamp of it, the CRC, uh, frame number, gateway timestamp, gateway address, gateway port, etc., etc. So this is another example of how it looks when you capture uh, different frames. So this is how we can catch traffic with scripting using events and callback functions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.